Well, hey guys, I'm just hanging out in my kitchen. I'm waiting for dinner to cook. It's over there, kind of hanging out on the stove. Um, and I thought, my kids are just playing. I thought I would share with you what uh, our meal plan looks like for the week. I actually have a whole monthly meal plan already laid out, but I thought um, I have it, but I have it already in my planner, and I thought I would just share with you what it looks like and what we are going to have to eat for the week. I had a few requests to share more um, meal planning ideas, so that's what I'm going to do. So let me flip you around and show you. Okay, so this is my Erin Condren Life Planner, and sometimes I go ahead and I actually just write. Um, the meal plan in with the days because when I'm flipped open to whatever spread that I'm working on, like whatever week it is, um, it's really handy to just look at the days. However, so I purchased one of these snap-in dashboards from Erin Condren. Um, it's a, the Oh What to Eat one. It is double-sided and it lets you, you know, make out your um, your grocery list on the other side. So this actually just pulls right out of the planner and you can place it right with your weekly spread or with your month. Um, but I chose to put it at the front of my planner because I didn't want to have to rip out these two lists every time I moved into a new week. I wanted to make sure that this was, that the spirals, the little teeth here were not going to break on me. Um, I just want to <laughs> pay for it once and keep it and I didn't want um, the, just taking it in and out to break it. So anyways, um, it has a breakdown um, Monday to Sunday and I've just written out my grocery list or my menu plan, sorry. So today is Monday and we are having a pasta sausage bake. So this is actually a recipe for my friend um, Nikki from Carrie Grace. I will leave the video link to her recipe for this. I've talked about it several times here on my channel. It is a family favorite and we absolutely love it. And so I gave myself a little note here to remind myself to thaw the sausage. Um, Tuesday is my son's birthday, so we have hamburgers and fries. That's his favorite meal. Wednesday is a chicken broccoli casserole, and I need to remember to thaw the chicken. So the idea here is, is that I look ahead to the next day. So when it's Tuesday, I'm looking ahead um, to Wednesday, and I see, oh, I need to thaw the chicken. So I'll pull that out on Tuesday. Um, Thursday is pork tenderloin. Um, I do have a note written here that it's date night. My husband is going away uh, for a while um, and he's leaving on the weekend. So at some point we want to have a date night. I would prefer to do it on a Thursday rather than a Friday because, you know, places are just really busy on Friday. So that's a potential thing. If we don't, um, I do have pork tenderloin in the freezer and we will go ahead and probably just throw it in the crock pot. Friday, we're going to have a family night, and I'll make homemade pizza. And then Saturday, pizza? Um, this weekend, bud. Making pizza. Not tonight. In a couple days. <laughs> um, and then, so, either Saturday or Sunday, my husband's going to leave. It's just kind of tentative at this point. So, one of those nights, we'll probably have leftovers, and at one point, we're going to have a family party um, for my son's birthday, and also a going-away party for my husband. So, the weekend is just sort of tentative. Um, I don't have anything listed here, because at one point, we'll be with my in-laws, and if I need an extra meal, we'll just do leftovers. Okay, so that is what is in my life planner. I do actually have this little planner here that I've created to be, sorry for the glare, um, my actual meal planner, my menu planner. And I will go through a whole tour of this book, but I did want to show you that I do actually have a planner for my menus, but as a quick and easy reference, I just have it here in my life planner right at the front. So that's what we are eating this week. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up and then I'll know whether or not to make more. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing great and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.